everyone. Welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way, and I am back again with another one of our new releases. This is our 2020 winter release, and uh, it is going to be these little tiny cabins. So it's called the Watercolor Mini Cabin Set, and they're little tiny structures, so they're great for the background. Uh, or if you, you know, are into um, artist training cards, those would be really fun. You can use those with those because they are small. And the nice thing about them being small is that they don't require a lot of work. They're really, really easy to do. So we're going to take one of those little structures, actually this one right here, this little house, but you could use any of them in this composition. And we're going to make a tiny little card with it. Super fun and, of course, quick and easy to do. So we're going to need a few other things besides uh, one of these little mini cabins. Uh, we're going to go back to the flower set four. So this is also a new release. And we're going to use these two little buds right here. We're going to place those in the foreground like this. And also super easy to do. And then uh, in the watercolor church set, we're going to use this tall, uh, small little tree here that goes in the background. Now, keep in mind, you can use lots and lots of different things in here. I chose that little tree, but there are so many other things that you can use. Uh, use your imagination if you don't happen to have this particular set. Uh, also in the flower set, so the basic flower set, we're going to use the little uh, daisy bunch right here. And uh, the vine from the foliage set. And it is right here. So this vine right here, we're going to use that one. So it doesn't take very much to make this little composition. And these little cards are really fun and different to make. So uh, what I've done is I've created a little square. And I'm going to mask off that square. So this is about a two and a half inch square. And I find the easiest way to do that is to cut a piece of cardstock like this or watercolor paper. That's two and a half inches square. And then I just placed it on my watercolor paper and traced it. So I find that's the easiest way. And then I'm going to take my post-it tape and I'll just place this around the edges so that I can protect the outside so that when I go to stamp on here, I won't be getting the ink outside of the lines. And then when I finished this little composition, I just trimmed it up and left about an eighth inch border around it. So that's also up to you how you want to do that. Okay, so I've got the rest of my area protected here, so I'm ready to stamp on the inside. So we are going to start with the basic image, and it's tiny, but we're going to start with that little structure, this one, and we're going to color it in two colors. So the dark brown, and with these tiny little ones, it really doesn't matter which color you use first, but the dark brown and the dark blue. So we're going to go over the top of that, and of course we are going to stamp this off because this is a really tiny little stamp and we want to make sure that we don't get it too dark. I'm also going to take off the bottom of it and then I'm going to stamp it right up here into the corner. So that is about exactly where I want it. Now on this this little scene here, I've created this little path um, that comes down in the front. So I've just freehanded it, but if you're uncomfortable doing that, take your pencil and draw this line in here. It's okay to do that because you can just erase it when you're finished. So if you aren't sure exactly how to do that, uh, just take your pencil and draw it in. Okay, so let's go ahead and start out with our basic image. And I'm going to dip my brush in water and pinch it off. And begin by pulling that color out of the lines. This is always the first step and even though it's tiny it's still important just to get that color out. And of course we're done in like two minutes with this. Okay that looks pretty good. So I'm going to add some color now to that and I'm just gonna put some dark brown on my palette and some light brown also. I'm just going to mix these two together. So dip your brush in water and just mix it together. And you can obviously use whatever color you want on the roof. That's totally up to you. And then just brush it in. Leave a little space in between here. Remember, you don't want to cross any lines. So even though it's tiny, um, leave that highlight on the top of the roof. It's really, really important. Okay, that looks good. And I'm going to take a dark blue. Now this is a, actually a warm blue, but we're going to use it into uh, in the foreground. So I'm just going to use it in the windows as well. And just color this, color these little windows. This just takes a minute to do this. Get 
my brush off and I think I will mix these two colors and do the door a little bit different. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna add some of this uh, dark blue onto my palette now. I just wanna get a tiny little shadow in here. And on the side, of course, this is back in the shadow, so this will be a little darker in here. And even though this is tiny, just kind of muddy it up a little bit. I'm gonna leave this house, little house white, but I still don't want it to be stark white. Just so fun to do these little, little tiny things. Make sure these windows are pretty dark. Okay, that looks pretty good. So let's go on to the, um, the foreground now. So I'm gonna add some green now to my palette. And like I said, if you're, if you're just unsure about brushing this in, uh, just pencil it in with, your, uh, with a pencil first. And just, just color this in. Just brush it in like this, so fun. Pretty relaxing. And then on the other side, we're gonna create a little hill here. So just down, and then you're gonna just drag this around just like this. And we've just created a little path. It doesn't have to be perfect, just the idea of it. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna add some blue now into the background. So I'm gonna take some of this dark blue that I put on my palette I'm just going to create a little uh, background back in here. And just brush this in. Nothing to it. And, you know, I think once you get your confidence, uh, it's it really becomes more fun. You know, just doing it a few times and you realize this isn't, this isn't hard at all. I can do it. Okay, so we've got our little house in here and we've created a little foreground. So let's go ahead and add our, um, add our sky in and then we'll do the foreground. And I'm gonna mix a little of this warm sky in here too. And uh, because I've, I've created this frame, I wanna make sure that I have color all the way around it or when I take my post-it tape off, uh, I won't see that border. So make sure that you get enough color all the way around. Okay, that looks good. So let's go ahead and add our trees in now. I'm just gonna use my green with this and I don't need the whole thing. So I'm just gonna ink just a little bit of it. And just get this in here a couple of times. other side and once that's in now I can take my brush and pinch it off and just kind of spread the sink around you just kind of dab at it and this will all kind of blend together these are great for the background they just work great they work great for a winter scene because you can just leave them uh, as you know kind of dry branches or you can blend the color like this and they just work great uh, you can add a little more color to it so if you think oh they're looking a little sparse or maybe you want to add a different green to it maybe uh, maybe some bright green like this one you can mix that in and add a little more uh, color variation in here but just kind of just kind of move that color around And then when you're done, uh, just, just make some little um, brush strokes uh, just for some shadows. Nothing to it. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and go on to the uh, foreground now. And we're gonna do that with our little filler flower. And for those of you who have followed me at all, you are very familiar with this little flower. I think I use it in almost every one of my uh, compositions, but it just works great. And I just wanna make sure that I have cleaned it off really well. I don't know what color I had on it last time. So I'm just gonna use a baby wipe since I'm gonna use yellow and make sure that it's really cleaned off. And then of course I always use my thumb. Okay, like that. So uh, ink that up. And we're gonna just start putting it into the foreground. And just kind of put as much of this in as you want. And then I'm just gonna kind of clean that off a little bit and go back in here with my dark blue. Well, actually it's a light blue, it's number 526. So it's that really bright, warm blue. Okay, that looks good. So let's go ahead and add some water to that. We're gonna start out with the lightest color and that is the yellow, of course. Make sure that you get that color way into the lines here. So really kind of push that against the post-it note and make sure that, that um, when you take that tape off, you've got a dark, you've got a color in there. Even if you have to brush in a little more color, that's okay too. Like down in here maybe. And then just kind of blend this all around. here and it's okay to blend that blue into the yellow it's okay okay so we got that done let's go ahead and take our vine now and we're just going to add a little of this vine in here just that just the tip and just put a little of this in kind of here and there And then I'm gonna dip my brush again and just blend. This is another one that is in so many projects, but it works great. And if you happen not to have this particular vine, any vine is gonna work. And try some different flowers in the foreground like this because uh, there, there are so many options and ways that you can do this little composition. You don't necessarily have to use these flowers. You could try it um, with others. Okay, so we've got that done. Let's go ahead and add these little buds in here. I just love these guys. These are brand new and I just love them so much. I love that you can go to the right and the left and they're just really tiny and subtle and they're more like, they're more like accents so you really don't need to add much water to them at all. So I'm using two colors. So the green and then I'm just gonna Ink that green again and hit that little bloom, those two little blooms. And then I'll take this one, go in the other direction and just hit this too. So two colors, get the blooms and then the stems. And we've got these little buds in here, so cute. And just touch them, just touch them with your brush on the very end. Don't do anything with the, with the stem, of course. And they're just, they're so tiny. They just work great. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna add a little more color now to the front. In here, maybe a little bit more to the roof. And I think we are about finished. Let's go just a little darker in here. Okay. 
Okay, we are finished with this little painting, so I'm ready to take off my post-it tape. And we've got a cute little painting done in just a few minutes. You can put this in a frame so easily, it'd be so cute. Uh, don't forget to sign and date. And give that away to someone. So many people need to be encouraged nowadays. And if you make a little painting for someone, put it in the mail. It just means so much. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And I will see you all next week. Thank you.